Maggie, welcome to Los Angeles. How does it feel to be back where you're from? Wearing, wearing masks outside. We'll see. It's been really cool to see all the different plants and palms that we also have in Costa Rica. I saw some multiplex bamboo. I saw some marigold flowers, which we have in our garden too. And check it out. I mean, pretty sure there's just some, I think they're reishi. I guess I'm not a total expert, but these look like freaking Ganonderma reishi mushrooms. <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy growing right in the city in LA. Here, mom and dad, tell us what, what this is. This is our local Brentwood official ballot drop box. I don't, I don't know if all your followers know, but in the state of California, we have made a decision. We are mailing every single registered voter a ballot. So if they do not feel comfortable during the pandemic going to, to vote a in person. voting place. Tampering can, is a felony. Yeah, can, that's wild to have like so public we put these boxes. boxes all over. They, they mailed out on Monday. Everybody received them. Not every person, every registered voter. I'm so surprised that someone hasn't graffitied like fuck Trump on it or I something. Gonna, I think it's really the someone's they, going to. It has to be pristine. Look. Yeah. You can't do anything. Yeah. As y'all know, that high quality Cali cannabis is legal here. And so it makes sense they're having to make signs saying don't drive super freaking blazed, which makes sense. I support that. I support cannabis, but I also support not being crazy and being dumb, especially on that hot quality Cali Kush. Oh, check out uh, the hat my dad got me. So my dad's passion is like new era, unique baseball hat. So we got this Colibri right here and it's pretty cool. You guys have seen the one I've been wearing, which my dad also got me for so many months. It's full of mold and disgusting. So happy to get some new hats. All right, we're rested from our day. My mom had, from our travel day, my mom had all kinds of, uh, new masks for us because she figured our travel masks are pretty gross. Can I see yours, babe? Nice. Hitting up the Santa Monica Farmer's Market. God damn, I grew up here. It's just closing. Oh, here's Harry's Berries. Best strawberries, babe. Right here to the left. Number one. Hi, Diggy. Buenos dias. What a trip. Hey, I grow that purple basil. All right, we... Finally made it as they're closing down after sleeping in to get a few items for breakfast. Ooh, pretty Cali eggplant, que bonita. Tomorrow we'll hit up the Farmar too, so no worries. Got abundance of Farmars. Talia checking out the almond butters, of course. So we've been sitting right here eating fruits. Bro, we recorded our legendary podcast right down there. That was the start of the Plantriotic podcast in like 2014. We've been homies six years. It's unbelievable, man. Time flies. And we're talking Costa Rica and, you know, Robbie's always busy helping people get healthy, getting off insulin and becoming healthy through a low-fat plant-based diet. But in these times, at some point, you got to start putting trees in the ground too, right? Hey, that's super important. Uh, this guy's getting me inspired. Both of you two are getting me inspired uh, about, you know, getting some action going in that area of life. And we, you know, we gotta invest in the land and the trees. And, like, but we also, this, 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 this people, this world needs help in a lot of different areas. And I can promise you right now, a lot of people need help about reversing insulin resistance. There's millions of people going to their doctor, being told that they've been diagnosed with type two diabetes and there is no solution. It's just medication. That is not the case. It absolutely can reverse type two diabetes. You can clearly reverse pre-diabetes. In type one, type 1.5, you can have an amazing quality of life, reduce your long-term chronic disease risk, and really just take back control of your health. Let's go. Pura vida. How is that zapote? Well, zapote is amazing, yeah, I mean, you know, I was a little sad leaving Costa Rica. Shit, we gotta go back to North American produce. But at the end of the day, when you're in Cali, it's actually you're in Santa Monica. You're just in good. Good. <laughs> we got you're strawberry good. guava. We got white sapote. 
some nice local apples, cherry tomatoes, persimmons, and then we'll eat vegan junk food tonight for dinner. Not junk food. <laughs> Compared to this, I'm sorry, little pine, you're gonna be junk food. How's the persimmon? No. Oh my god, it's so blind. Yes, it's my favorite. Welcome to Robbie's Fruit Shack, where you can come, get healthy, open for business, buy him out of fruit. Just kidding. <laughs> Bye, book. <laughs> but like legit, this is like a, you could have like a total trendy Santa Monica, Venice, exotic fruit shop. Just get people to come in here. But no, all this is for you. The this varieties is... on the shelf are pretty spectacular as well. Yeah, yeah it kind of tripped me shout out. Well, shout that. out to Miami Fruit as well, yeah, yeah, right? For, sure. for supplying Robbie with a lot of uh, Some great stuff. these things. Shout out to Rain and Adele. But dude, it was a little bit like just funny because uh, yesterday Natalia and I brought, we call these ice cream bananas yeah. where we live. And we ate like 15 or 20 on the plane. And we're like, our last ice cream bananas for a month. And then we come to Ronnie's house. Does so look like Wade's bananas. More and more feels just like, what the fuck? That's good. Community garden here in the Venice Santa Monica border. We got some pitaya, some dragon fruit, tomatoes, figs, papaya. I feel like we're in Costa Rica. Yeah, just tie them up to, yeah, they just, they need support. Dragon fruit, if you don't support them with rebar or trellis. Oh, there's a plumeria tree. No. Wear your mask when you're farming. <laughs> ah, maracuya, that's all maracuya. See the flower? Yeah. Maracuya. Do you have faith in Jesus? No. But there is one God, he says. No! Yes! Praise Jesus if you want to live. If you want to live! Ah! Lucas' house is awesome. Oh! So cool. Careful, you get scratched. I know, he's so big and strong. You bitch strong to open. <laughs> Yeah, at Little Pine with the fam. So this is my parents' first restaurant in like seven months. They are very respectful in uh, being mindful in these COVID times. So they haven't been going to restaurants, but now that we're in town and we were open to going, they have joined. You guys happy? So happy. Usually they're the ones dragging me, yeah, begging me to go to a restaurant because I just want to eat you like fine at home all the like... time. My home cooked <laughs> healthy food, but so we're at Moby's Little Pine Vegan picnic Delicacies. Spot. Having a picnic. Yeah, it's all outdoor <laughs> seating. Maggie's, yeah. Maggie's with us. Hi, baby. I'm having a, my dad and I are having an IPA. Look, they they make the label of this IPA upside down, even like the writing. So you just gotta pound it and then flip it over so that you can actually read what it says. Pretty cool. We got almost everything on the menu and we're starting with Vegan Caprese. This is a 100% vegan restaurant, of course. Vegan mozzarella. So yeah, how, how is the mozzarella? I haven't tried it yet. Nice. Prueba la. I feel like I'm always eating on Jackson's vlog. You don't find this funny? is gonna take a while. I'm such a slow what eater. What kind of nut do you think it's based? Cashew, Cashew based, probably. Cashew or almond. Or what we would call. Um, oh really? Caprese, yeah. No. Go ahead, Dad. You're good. My parents always wait to pick up the food. They wait until I film it for all you guys. Oh. See how hard I work for all you watching? These awkward mm. phone and lighting moments. But you guys don't mind, parents. You're used to it, right? Yeah. Isn't it crazy? Did you think it was a phase six years ago when Thank I started you. posting videos all the time? No, really? I knew it was for real. I knew it was for real. Still Let's do it. What's your friend? There right, go. Well, Jackson's dad, I want to give a shout out to his biggest fan, Kim Cote, who's very sweet and thoughtful to him and Italian and Maggie. You know where Kim lives? No. She lives in Maine and she gardens oh, and cool. she's awesome. Maine. I love her. What is that? Shout oh, out to Kim. <gasps> <laughs> Mac and cheese. I was so stoked papers? for this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get a salad Ooh. next time you come back. Uh -huh. with... <laughs> it's like after I get wet. Wow, the mushroom. 
I wonder what burger they use. They clearly don't make yeah, it. Yeah, let's, let's ask. It might be a Beyond, might be an Impossible. It doesn't look like Beyond, if you ask wow. me. Wow. Like LA vegan food. How crazy, babe. We ain't in Alfombra anymore. Maggie, what are we gonna give you? As a crazy tattooed person, I respect and love and appreciate Moby so much. Go check out his tattoos if you've never seen him on Instagram. He's just a badass with how he uses tattoos and wears them. And I wouldn't do it like that exactly for me personally, but I respect and love his tattoos. Look at that. Damn.